Computer Consulting in Portland, Maine. Today I'm going to teach you how to use Word to create a whole sheet of labels. Normally when you open Word, you're here in the Home tab. You see the bold, the italics, all of the things you're used to seeing in Word. But what we're going to do is create a sheet of labels. I may need these to have the same address label so I can stick it on an envelope once a month and send it off to somebody. I may need it because I want to create a product label or for what I sometimes use it for is if I make strawberry jam at home, I want a strawberry jam label to put on each one of my jars. There are lots of reasons for doing it. Up here in your tab, you're just going to click on mailings. And then here in the create section of the ribbon, click labels. Here's the envelopes and labels box that comes up. I'm going to just type what I want to be in there. Oh, James Smith, 111 Moody Lane, um, Portland, Maine. How about that? I'm sure that place doesn't exist. Now I know I want a full page of the same label in this particular situation, but notice that if you only wanted a single label, you could actually reuse your sheets of label and simply tell the program which row and column to begin on. This is my label in this section on the right. I am using the Avery US letter. That's the Avery brand we are all very familiar with. Number 5160, which is a common address label. But if you click on here, notice that you can choose any manufacturer you like, and you can also choose any different label that they put out. So while I'm using the 5160, you might be using a shipping label. You might be using a Hello My Name Is label. There are lots of different labels available on the market, and they can be a lot of fun to use. Oh, and I got the wrong one. Okay, let me go back in again. Make sure I get the 5160 for this particular one. There it is, and click OK. All right. Now, I don't want to just print it now. There's nothing to print. I want to actually create a document so that I can make this label look the way I want it to be. So I'm going to click New Document, and poof, there they are. Now, what if I want to change the font of these labels? Notice that Word has put these labels into a table. So if I click up here in this little hashtag up there, they all get selected, and the table tools shows up at the top here. A design menu, a layout menu. If I click in design, I can change all kinds of things about these labels here, but those aren't going to really show. I can even give them shading, for example. I might want them to be blue or pink or green. That might be kind of interesting. If I go on the layout label here, I can take all of these, which you notice are in the upper right-hand corner, and I could center them in the label just by clicking the center, align center in the alignment section. I'm going to go back to the Home tab, and now I'm going to change the font. So maybe I'm, you see how I go through and it keeps on changing? Ooh, that one looked kind of nice. I'm going to click on the Berlin Sans because it looks really cool. Now all I have to do is save my document, put my labels right into my printer, print them off, and I am all done. That's all there is to it. Thanks, and see you another day.